also trying to prune us to build up character, to develop the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah, yeah, and I, that I, comes I by that. intimacy. Amen. I, I have Amen. to. I, you told me something that touched my heart. You see, a lot of people, because of tribulation, yes. because of very minor things, they just abandon God, they forsake God, they say God is no more existing, they get angry. But something, as you were talking, God just brought a scripture to remember. Amen. If you can remember that Joseph had a beautiful dream. Yes, yes. He had a dream and they were dying in sheep in the, in the bush. And it, other 11 sheep got up and bowed down to his own sheep. And he also had another dream that the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowed down to his own star. Yes. But it, uh, yes. That, that those were wonderful, wonderful dreams, great expectation, great excitement. Oh, I'm going to be a king. Every <laughs> other person will be, be bowed down to me. Yes. But, do you know, I, I, I realized that. There were certain things God did not show him. God never showed him that this dream will make him to be put in a pit. That's right. No, this no. dream will make him to be striped naked. Yes, no. This dream will make him to be sold into slavery. Oh, my this God. This dream also will make him to even be a prisoner. My God. But yes, you know yes. All these are all what we are passing through and lead us to. Amen. Realizing our dream. Oh, yes. But through that tribulation, through that sorrow, through that hardship, through that testing. Absolutely. That will surely yeah. lead you. Do you know that even though Joseph passed through this thing, he still trusted in his Amen. Life. Do you know that eventually he became yes. that prime minister and the brethren eventually went and bowed down to him. Amen. You see, through tribulation. But look at the years that it took. <laughs> look at the years of trying his faith. Yes. But you see, with the Holy Spirit, when we rely on the Holy Spirit, it's so wonderful because he's so personal to us. Right. And he's the one that brings a revelation. The, the gospel is very simple. Man complicates it. God wants all of us. He wants our heart. It's a matter of the heart. And as long as your heart is pure and right before God and you really want to serve him and be used of him, my God, your life will never be the same. It won't. And we, the three of us here, are speaking from experiences. We are not just sitting here looking, you know, nice and comfortable and peaceful and joyful because everything is going perfect. Absolutely not. We are men and women of integrity. We've been fighting some wars, and God only knows how many more wars. But one thing we could say, God is faithful and will always continue to be faithful. Always. But there's conditions. We must continue to be faithful to him first because yes. it's Praise always a God. choice. And my choice personally, and I could also say for my brother and sister, we already chose a long time ago when God himself called us unto himself mm -hmm. that we knew there was a price to pay. Right. There is a price to pay. If anyone tells you different, they're lying. Praise There's God. a price to pay. Jesus Christ himself Amen. paid the ultimate Amen. price. He gave his life for you. Amen. He gave his life for you and all mankind. Amen. So how much more is required of us? We are not any different. We are not any better. We are not perfect. He was without sin, and he gave his life. And we have to give our lives back to him. Sacrificially, we have to live righteous. We have to live holy. There must be a sanctification. Yes. There's no other way to the cross. That's why many are called, but few are chosen. All right. And I didn't understand that many years ago because I was a baby in the Lord. But as I grew in him, I came to have that full understanding, Apostle Mark and Sister Ann, mm -hmm. that the road is narrow because many yes. refuse to pay the price. Yes. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Um, yes. Now, um, um, turning back to my wife, um, and I want you to try to assess what do you think are the sources or causes of uh, disaffection uh, or disappointment or why people are going back to the world, what can you attribute to? What is the major reason why a lot of people call it quit so quickly? My God. Actually, there are so many reasons, and um, but I'm just going to mention but few. There are reasons why people, after going to church, you see them with great seal. Yes. When I go to church, now I'm going to church, I'm going to do this, and before you know it, they are going back. One of the reasons is when the expectations are not met. Oh, yes. So many we go to church, they have reasons for going. I'm going to church, maybe I'm gonna see a husband in the church. That's right. I'm oh, going oh, to oh, turn I, I,